Northern Queensland faces unprecedented flash floods, as extreme weather associated with tropical cyclone Jasper lashes the region, depositing a year's worth of rain in some areas. Efforts to evacuate a settlement hit by rising waters have been hindered by the relentless downpour. Cairns Airport finds itself paralysed, with images revealing planes stranded on flooded runways. In Ingham, floodwaters harbour a 2.8-metre crocodile, adding to the extraordinary scenes unfolding in the wake of Cyclone Jasper. The attempted evacuation of Wujul Wujul, home to 300 residents, has been called off due to adverse conditions, leaving the community stranded amidst the rising floodwaters. Fortunately, no deaths or missing individuals have been reported as of now, but authorities fear that this flood may be the worst on record for the state. Rescue operations are in full swing, as hundreds of people have been saved from inundated homes, while power outages and impassable roads further complicate relief efforts. Safe drinking water is rapidly becoming scarce, intensifying the challenges faced by affected communities. Cairns, a city at the epicenter of the deluge, has experienced over 2 metres, 7 feet, of rainfall since the onset of the weather event. The airport, initially closed due to the flooding, has seen some relief as waters recede. Queensland Premier Stephen Miles expressed the severity of the situation, stating, I have been talking to Cairns locals on the ground, and they say they have never seen anything like it. In the remote town of Wujul Wujul, emergency crews were unable to reach nine people, including a sick child, who spent the night on the roof of a hospital. While they were relocated on Monday, further evacuation attempts were thwarted by the ongoing adverse weather conditions. Concerns about drinking water, sewage, power, telecommunications, and blocked roads persist, posing significant challenges for relief efforts. The forecast indicates that heavy rain will persist for another 24 hours, coinciding with a high tide, exacerbating the impact on low-lying communities. Despite the expected easing of rain on Tuesday, swollen rivers are yet to peak, and several are projected to surpass records set during the devastating flood of 1977. The toll of the disaster is estimated to exceed 1 billion Australian dollars. As Australia grapples with frequent natural disasters, exacerbated by the current El Nino weather event, urgent action to address climate change becomes imperative, as highlighted by the latest UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, report. The nation faces a future of worsening disasters unless decisive measures are taken to mitigate climate change impacts.